Hi there. How are you today? God bless you. Hope you are doing well. How's your spiritual life? How's your relationship with the Lord? I hope you're seeking, pursuing. God bless you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ will continue to be with us all in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. I just want to come with us with a challenging question. The Lord put to me this morning, this afternoon, the Lord was like, are you ready for eternity? I'm like, Lord, help me. I just began to pray like, God, Holy Spirit, help me. I know it's not by might, it's not by power, but by the Spirit, Lord, prepare me. Help me to be ready for eternity, Lord. Because I remember early this year, the Lord has told me, be ready, I'm coming for my bride. And he also said, I'm gathering my people. Hallelujah. And you know, my brothers and sisters, we are in the end time. Jesus is coming very soon. Believe it or not, this is true. This is the generation and we must be ready at all time. We should not be distracted. We shouldn't allow anything to take our focus, our eyes of the Lord. We should keep following him in love, in faith, in obedience every day. Hallelujah. So I was praying. I'm like, God, help me, Holy Spirit. I had my peace and the Lord gave me uh, joy, overwhelming joy in my heart just to make me know for sure that, sure, you're good. You're following me. Just keep pursuing me, keep seeking me, you know. The Lord was like, hold on to that which you have. Hold on to your faith in me and keep following. Don't let anybody take your crown. Amen. Just like the Lord was telling the church in um, Revelation that, hold on to that which you have. Don't let anyone take your crown. My brothers and sisters, and I'm putting this question out to you. Are you ready for eternity? Are you ready? We need to be ready. Remember the story of the 10 virgins. They were all preparing, getting ready. But sadly, only five could make it. Why? Because they had oil. They were prepared, well prepared. They had oil. But the foolish ones, they didn't have oil. They didn't have oil. So are you filling your oil daily? Are you filling your lamp with oil daily? The oil of the Holy Spirit. So have you received the baptism of the Holy Spirit? If you have not, please seek the Lord. You need it. Baptism of fire of the Holy Spirit, yes. It's our extra hall. We need that extra hall every day. Seek the Lord. Praise the Lord. I remember my mom used to tell me, anything that will not wait for you, you wait for it. Amen. <laughs> and that has really helped me in my journey in life. Whatever I'm preparing for anything, I want to be Sure, and be double sure that I'm ready anytime that thing is going to be happening. I'm ready by His grace, by God's grace. I remember when I was traveling to the uh, US, I, I kind of missed up my flight. I thought I was going to be leaving at night, but lo and behold, it was in the afternoon. But praise God because I'd already prepared, I'd already like, I'm going to the airport in the morning. So it's better I, I stay there in the morning and then when the flight will take off at night, I know I'm ready just to get every final preparation done. Praise the Lord. I didn't miss my flight. I was like, wow, I thought it was night. So my brothers and sisters, it is spiritually we need to be ready and be sure that we are sure that we are really 
preparing and following the Lord the right way, the, following the rule, you know, discipline ourselves, amen. Pursuing holiness. Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Amen. Philippians 2, 12 says, Walking out your salvation with fear and trembling through obedience to his commandments. Are you walking out your salvation every day with fear and trembling, obeying the word of God? Then you just keep on following Jesus Christ. Are you walking in the spirit? Do you bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit? These are the way you check. Yes, the Bible says examine yourself. Jesus told his disciples, do not be deceived. Watch and pray. Be, be, be ready. Be prepared. I'm coming. So it's not uh, a bad thing for you to check and to check and make sure you're still on the path. Amen. Check. Are you bearing the fruit of the Spirit? Love, joy, gentleness, meekness, long-suffering, faithfulness, goodness. Are you... Praise the Lord. Are you denying yourself? Carrying your cross daily and following Jesus. Following Jesus. I remember Jesus was asking his uh, disciples, what do people say I am? Who do people say I am? They were like, oh, some people say you're Elijah. Some people say you're John the Baptist. See, Jesus was asking his own disciples, like, what do you think I am? Who do you think I am? And you're like, okay, what about you? You, my disciples, who do you think I am? And by the Spirit, Peter was able to say, Oh, you're Christ. You're Christ. Amen. Who is Jesus to you? Is he your Savior and Lord? Or is he just your Savior? Is he your Lord? Are you following him? Is he your Master? Praise the Lord. We need to really search ourselves and be ready. Praise the Lord. Let's look at uh, an example of somebody who was like inquisitive, asking the Lord. So we can also ask the Lord. Yes. <laughs> and like, God, am I really following you? Search me, oh Lord. Like David, we always pray to the Lord. Search me, oh Lord. Is there any wickedness in me? Teach me your way of righteousness. This is a sincere and humble question we can ask the Lord. He's our father. He's our friend. He's our savior. And as we follow him, he wants to relate with us. He wants to talk to us. Talk to us about ourselves. Amen. I remember the Lord Jesus was telling me recently, you love the world. You love all these fashion stuff things. I'm like, Lord, help me. And the Lord began to reveal things that are in my life that are not pleasing to him. I'm like, Lord, whatever you say, I'll do it. Thank you. And he exposed all those things. The Lord was telling me all the things in the world that you like. They are worms. They are going to rot. I was like, Lord, please help me. Praise the Lord. It's a beautiful thing when we walk with the Lord with sincerity, you know, wanting to please him. And Jesus is so faithful. Amen. He is faithful when we really love him and we want to please him. Hallelujah. Let's look at um, Luke. Luke 18. And look at the rich, young ruler. This guy, he believed in Jesus and he loves Jesus. So he came to the Lord Jesus and like, Lord, what do I do? What else do I do to... to Inherit eternal life. Praise the Lord. And Jesus told him, was like, okay, keep the commandments. You And the guy said, oh, I've been keeping the commandments from my youth. All right. Jesus said, you still lack something. Seriously? I lack something. Jesus said, yes, you lack something. And let's see what Jesus told him. Look. 18:22. So when Jesus heard these things, he said to him, "You still lack one thing: sell all that you have and distribute to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. And come, follow me." 
Wow. How wonderful the Lord is. Like, sell all that you have and follow me. But when the guy heard this, the Bible says he became very sorrowful for he was very rich. See, he was very rich. So he wouldn't let go all those things, the possession. That's the sinfulness of riches, cares of life. He wouldn't let go for Jesus Christ to enter eternity. See, and that is happening to many people out there. They wouldn't want to let go all the possession, all the uh, riches, all the things of this world, love of the world. My brothers and sisters, is there anything you are holding on to that takes your heart away from the Lord, that's keeping you from serving the Lord wholeheartedly? The Lord is saying, sell all you have and give to the poor. Follow me. Praise the Lord. Is that too much? That's not too much. Jesus died for us. He left his glory in heaven and came to this wretched, poor, sinful world to die for us. Sinners. He is holy. Jesus is holy. He died for sinful men. So is anything too much for us to live for Jesus? To get, get to eternity forever? I pray the Lord will guide us and help us to make the right decision before it's too late. Amen. Is there anything you're holding to? Jesus is saying, sell all you have. Give to the poor and follow me. And so his disciples were saying, oh, how hard it is for those who have... Jesus said, how hard it is for those who have riches to enter the kingdom of God. For it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. If you are rich, you need to get rid of everything. Paul said, I count everything as dung. Paul lost everything he had, all his prestige, all his um, riches, all his... Um, academic excellence, all his uh, theological uh, accolades, all his um, doctorate degrees, because he was, he was uh, one of the theologians then in Israel. He lost everything, all his popularity. Yes, his position, because he was dealing with the high priest. He will uh, get permission from them, persecuting the church until the Lord grabbed him. The Lord saved him by his mercy. Paul said, I can't hold that as dung for the excellence of knowing Christ. Amen. My sisters, my brothers in Christ, are we counting all that we think we have, all our position, all the riches, all the things of this world, all the desires, all our aspiration to be this, to be that. Are we counting them so much more than having Christ, possessing eternity? We need to really, really search ourselves. I pray the Lord God will help us. Amen. Uh, in first, in second Timothy four seven, Paul say, Paul said at the end of his life, I "Have fought the good fight." I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day. And not to me only, but also to all who have loved his appearing. Amen. Do you love his appearing? Do I love his appearing? Are we fighting the good fight of faith? Are we keeping the faith? We need to continue to keep the faith. Letting go. Have anything of this world that's going to keep us from the Lord. All those things that ensnares us. All the worldly weights. All the enticement of riches, of uh, cares of this world, 
that is taking our attention, our focus from eternity. We need to really, really take them away and set our eyes on Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. I pray that the Lord God will keep us by his grace through the help of the Holy Spirit to the hand and uh, his uh, grace and mercy will be sufficient for us. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Once again, are you ready for eternity?